You told me you gon' ride forever We gon' die together You told me you gon' stay with me Through the storm and weather You told me you gon' hold it down When I'm not around And you told me if the niggas holler You won't make a sound You told me you gon' ride forever We gon' die together You told me you gon' stay with me Through the storm and weather You told me you gon' hold it down When I'm not around And you told me if the niggas What's up? What's poppin'? So it's your girl Jazz or whatever. And um, I decided to do a cooking video because you guys say that we need to do more of that. So I'm finally doing one. So I seen this meal on Facebook and it looks bomb. Like bomb.com. I don't know all the ingredients that's in it. I'm just gonna try to eyeball it. But it's shrimp, lobster, and it looks like a cheesy Alfredo. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna show y'all so y'all can see. Can y'all see that? That looks good, don't it? Okay, so actually there was this lady at Publix too and she was making like a shrimp scampi thing and I tasted it and it was really, really good. So she gave me, well, I, I already had like everything inside of my basket for what I thought was gonna go in there. The only thing I did not have was this um, this red chili pepper, which is like this. Well, it looks like this. So um, basically you cut it open, you gut it. Um, but you're gonna put, I'm gonna tell y'all everything I'm putting in there, okay? So first I'm gonna chop up this red chili pepper because I already have it sitting here. And I need this to go like within my, uh, what I have to like saute, I guess you already washed it. So wash the can. Dawn it up, honey. <coughs> I don't know what just went down my throat. I think it was the wrong uh <coughs> like some air. But okay, so this chili, um, red chili pepper, you want to cut it up as small as possible. Okay, you guys. I think I'm done. So. Okay, so here's my red chili pepper. I cut it all up into little, tiny little dices. Okay, that's what she said. As small as you can. Okay. On top of that, me, personally, I'm gonna add a few mushrooms because I like for when I eat pasta or when I eat like, um, and these are white sliced mushrooms already, but I'm gonna cut them up a little smaller. But I like for my spaghetti or my pasta or whatever to have like more of a meaty taste. And for those of y'all who don't know, mushrooms are more like meat to me. Well, like, <laughs> they're like meaty, they're, they're chunky. That's why a lot of people like mushrooms too, to put inside of a meal. Okay, so you need freshly peeled garlic. Okay, all this stuff you guys too, I got from Publix. So she said you need 12 cloves. So I'm gonna take 12 of these out. I chop them all up. I'm gonna put them here on my plate. <coughs> my goodness. 
It's strong. Oh my lordy. Hold on, you guys. Okay, guys, so now, so this is the shrimp that I bought because it's only me and Devon. Okay, this is raw peeled divine tail on extra large shrimp. Okay, so I'm gonna clean these real quick. They obviously don't got the skin on them, which is like a major like blessing. So let me take that. I'm gonna show y'all. See, they already have like. Can y'all see that? The skin is off. So all I have to do is take the um. Oh, oh, oh. Take the freaking tail off. So. And then, ugh. This water in here is so sticky. This thing. That definitely gotta go out. Okay, so. I'm taking off all these, taking them off. Okay, so all that song. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon, like I said. This is actually perfect. This little bit of lemon, squeeze it in here. Clean my shrimp. How are you doing, beautiful? I'm doing okay, stinky woodies. Mama, mama, mama. What mama took it? That was like just the right amount. <laughs> so. All that brown water coming off. Can y'all see that? I don't like that. Nope, don't like that. Okay. Like I said, you, you want to clean it quick, but you want to make sure it's also clean. And use cold water because warm water kind of like cooks it. And these don't even look like they have anything in them. Usually I clean this stuff out, but these look actually pretty decent. Wait, nope, this one got some doo doos in it. Getting the doo doos out. Okay, y'all, I got all the doo doo out. <laughs> not that many so it didn't take me too long. Okay, so what I actually should have been doing y'all. Um, I should have been boiling my noodles now but I didn't think about it. So, you're gonna need a pot like this. Just to boil your noodles in. And you fill it up and you're gonna put, you're gonna put like, mm, you're gonna put two big tablespoons of olive oil in your water so that when you make your noodles, it's like soft, but not too soft and they don't stick. That's the main thing, you don't want them to stick. And you're gonna add some salt. And if you don't have olive oil, you can use butter. Okay? So. I'm gonna add some salt. Mamas, are you okay? <laughs> okay, and the noodles that we're gonna use. gotta be kidding me. These are the only noodles I have? What the heck? 
Okay, you guys, so this is gonna be really ghetto, all right? But I ain't got enough of one noodle, so I'm gonna use two of these noodles. The noodle that you should originally use, though, is fettuccine, okay? Can y'all see that? I prefer you to use fettuccine, or you wanna be a little fancy, use bow ties, okay? But because I don't got enough of these, and I kinda got almost enough of these, we're going to have to make something work, okay? And we're going to break these in half to make them more, okay? So, this is ridiculous. I'm going to break these in half. virgin olive oil okay this is like some of the best oil to use when you're cooking because it's not so I guess you could say fatty but I'm gonna use two capfuls of this oil maybe a little extra just to be safe not a full one but you know just the right amount okay now I'm gonna need a sauteing pan and then I'm going to do another Okay, so this one I'm going to use for... This one I'm going to use for the, the... I said the shrimp. I'm going to use for the mushrooms, the red chili pepper, and the garlic cloves. Parsley. Yes. You need parsley too. Okay, parsley. Parsley. And let me see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm doing everything right. Just making sure. Wait. All right. Wait. 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 Okay. So. We're going to add all. Okay, going by what she said. Then, you're gonna need crab meat, okay? This is imitation crab meat, okay? Y'all can buy it at Publix, Walmart, and you don't have to clean this. You could take this right out the bag and eat it, honey, because that's originally what a lot of people do. So I'm gonna take, like, probably, no, I might need to use the whole thing, you know. Mm -hmm. See, and you can eat that. Where is this shirt at, my mom? Guess we'll go with um, Shaq Slim. Huh. The, uh, the one girl who was with Dan. She's like 18. India? Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay, so what do you have? So right now, I added the lobster meat, the everything all together, the shrimp and the parsley, and a little bit of butter, and the lemon juice, and olive oil, and all that. So I'm just letting it cook, and then those are going in the oven. What are these? Mm -hmm. What are these? Those are clam uh, and it has like I think clam meat and stuff in it it's really good and then the noodles matter of fact let me check the noodles oh my noodles basically almost done and then I'm gonna make my uh, whipping cream with my cheese honey okay I'm gonna take this off the eye because I don't want it to burn out I'm going to make my my cheese sauce. So, whipping cream. What kind of whipping cream is that? This is heavy whipping cream from from Publix. So, that might be. I think that's enough. And then this is Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, shredded. So I need it to get hot. Sounds like your oven have just hit yep. the right temperature, 385. This is gonna go in the oven. And how long is that gonna cook? We're only gonna let that cook for like 15, <laughs> then we're gonna put it in for 20 minutes. Cause it's already like pre-cooked, you just want it to warm and get you know, taste it. But this needs to get hot. This needs to get hot. And we'll be back. All right. Okay, you guys, so what I put in here was some whipping cream, and I added all my Parmesan cheese. Okay, I add a whole bag of Parmesan cheese, and this was the whipping cream I put in there. And that is amazing. And I added a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of seasoning in there from over here, over here. But it's all going to mix when it's done. So that's done. My noodles is done. My cheese is done. Well, my, yeah, my cheese sauce. And these are almost done. They're in there still baking. So we are about to be done, honey, eating like a kings and queens is. So, this is the plate, honey. OMG. This looks good. This looks amazing. When I tell you it's about to go down, honey. About to go down. I'm going to let y'all see me take this bite of this food. Cut. I'm just ready to eat. I'm ready to be a fat girl. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys. Later. Yeah, 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 yeah.